Hi, so the aim of this video is to bind data to a set of numbers. So let's say we have some scores of some students in a class or some timings for some race. So we want to visualize those, but we want to visualize it with a rectangle, so bar graph and not only that we want to add some transition to it so that's the main goal um, so let's start so we need to have some data for it first let's create an array let's have data which represents a good spread so some numbers which are a um, little bit to the higher end and some which lower so we can visualize it properly before we use d3 we need to add it so in code pen we can use this option to just search d3 and add its reference what code pen is going to do is it's going to add it in the html javascript tag and this will be downloaded when it execute now we can use d3 functions First, we need to create the canvas. For that, we need to know what is the width and height of canvas. Let's have it 800 and 400. Now, create SVG element D3 is going to select the body and then body of HTML and append SVG element Now we need to set the width and height of that SVG that we can do with attribute. But we can't see this SVG. We need to see it visually and that's how we know that this is our area where we are going to uh, create our graph. Let's add a style to it. So this is not visible because now we can see it properly so the style was not properly defined that's why it was not visible now we can see this is the boundary 
of our SVD. Let's add a rectangle to it. This variable SVD contains the SVG element. We do this empty select where we want D3 to not find it and when it will not find it then it will append um, elements from this data to the new newly created element so it will not find this rect it will create new rects as many rects as it has data so we need to bind data first Now, when we do dot enter, it's going to create those rectangle elements. Even though we set it once, but it's going to create as many as elements as the number of elements in this array so there are six elements in this array and d3 is going to create six rectangles Now why we are doing this? So we are doing this because we want to give the x and y position to of the rectangle. And these rectangles they are going to be in one place. So let's first just create these, let's say at this position. We can't see it because we need to provide a color which fills those rectangles. Okay, so we can see 
our rectangle and we don't need to give quotes for numbers so there is no need of any quote here but as we can see there is only one rectangle we don't want one rectangle we want as many rectangles as the elements in the array so to do that we need to move each rectangle let's do that So in this arrow function, we have each element in the array and D and I is the index. And if let's say we multiply this I with 100 every time, then we can make those rectangles appear. But we need to offset this first rectangle so this means that when i is 0 then it should have some value so let's add this check here Now they are all spaced and this one is not very close to the edge. Now the next thing we want to do is that we want to change the height of this these rectangles based on the data we have so you can see that now all these rectangles their height is based on data so if we offset to make them look bigger if we offset all of these rectangles with let's say some number like 300 let's make it smaller so we can see clearly but there is no transition effect so how can we make these rectangles start from zero height and then slowly they increase their height so that means that we need to add a transition effect to it when we do transition we need to specify how long will it take for that transition to happen So you can see there is some transition 
So let's start with zero. This is much better. And if we decrease the height of it, It looks much better. It starts from the right height. It has correct distance from the edges. And then as soon as we make any changes, then it restarts. this gives a very nice professional look and feel and that's how you can create um, data binding between elements in the array with rectangle and add transition to it thank you